Hey all, Russ here, over TV. Welcome, check it out. We're on back roads, yay. And I mean back roads. We're actually five miles north of Interstate 90. That was cutting through Indiana. But look at this. We are so close to the Michigan border. This stone here, there's a marker. Okay, there's supposed to be another marker in the road. 130 feet south will mark the exact corner where all three states intersect. Indiana, Ohio, and Michigan. You know, last night I was goofing off, mapping myself out. Because we're heading over to the RV Hall of Fame. And I found this on Google Maps. So those stakes in the ground there. There's the green sign. The road kind of changes. There's got to be a marker. There it is. Look at that with the M on it. There's the official survey marker for the three states. So I'm actually, what, standing in Ohio? <laughs> The vans in Michigan and those cows over there in Indiana. <laughs> All right, let's get on the road. Look at the farmland, look how flat right there, that road, there's that border of the state line between Michigan and Indiana. So that direction would be what? Indiana. I think pretty sure yep then right here we go swing over to Ohio <laughs> so that farm look at that he's got some of these farms got uh, property in both states how cool is that anyway little fun fact when you're traveling it's not super easy to find but GPS does work it brought me right here I would not bring a big rig back here, but definitely it's a fun little thing to see. Get your picture in three states. Okay, we're heading over to the RV Hall of Fame. We're in Elkhart, Indiana. This wasn't really a planned trip, but it came up because I was bypassing big towns and we're heading actually up into Michigan. We're going to start going up the Michigan shoreline of Lake Michigan on the west side, on the western side of the state. So I cut across. I didn't want to do Detroit and big towns and all that. So this is kind of like a little fun side trip. Plus here I'm going to get the van serviced. Got oil changes going in it and some other things adding a new battery system so gonna be here a couple days so let's go check out the RV Hall of Fame huh RV Hall of Fame Museum and Library I heard the library is priceless because this is where you can get a copy of an old brochure if you got an old RV they got an extensive library library here so we'll check that out. It's an older motor home. They're putting some new buildings over there. Look at that. Maybe they're expanding. There's a van. All right, let's go in and check it out. $10 to get in here. Look at this RV. Covered wagon. One horsepower. No, two horsepower model. Nice new canvas on it. <laughs> I like looking at the older ones. Man, that's a big place. All the names on the walls, all the directors. They got boards and stuff here for all the RV associations. That's who runs this is the RV association. Little toy ones there. 
Little toy models of RVs. What we've got over here, they got a movie theater. You can watch a movie. Here's an older teardrop. Look at this little guy. Can you imagine sleeping in one of them things, though? Go RV, and that's that TV show you see on uh, cable. It's more like an infomercial, non-stop infomercial. They show RV, and but they cram the commercials down you. All their awards. Go RV, and well, we'll check it out anyway. Layout of all the factories around this area. How many have come along through the years? Okay, here's a model of a factory. I yes, most of the factory tours are closed to either groups or private. They don't have public tours right now. Look how they build them. They run them down the assembly line. You know, they build an RV inside out. They start with the platform and set the walls and then build it out. That's why they're so darn hard to work on. <laughs> Even the nice ones. They still use glues, glue and staples and lightweight wood. Okay, what else we got in here? Oh, this is a new one. There's a sign on the door when I came in that uh, almost all the new ones have been pulled out of here because of the shortage. So very limited on anything new in here. But we came see old ones. Here's a nice $30,000 trailer. <laughs> They're easy to pull, these guys. The engineering on these things have really come a long ways. Still using old cheap paneling though. See where the bed folds down back there? That'll fold down into a big bed. No thanks. Here you go. See, these are actually new. They look old, but they're, they're glamping style, I guess they call them. Nice color yellow. Cozy, though. I mean, they're fun. They make a statement. You want to go to the beach, campgrounds, look good. Here you go. <laughs> it's got all the modern stuff in it. I don't think you pull it with the old car. Oh, boy, look at this motorhome. You better be a fa football fan of the Eagles. Going to own that. Nice old car. Go RVing. I tried watching that TV show, but it was just too much like an infomercial. This has the old nostalgic look, but this is brand new. This is brand spanking new. This is not a used trailer. That's how they build them. Okay, well, let's do this. Let's go uh, look at this thing. So if you're an Eagles fan, you better be. That bus is for you. Cool. You want to see the inside? Hang on. I waited till those people left. All right, here we go. Football, everything. All the colors, the table, even the color of the counters, all has the team colors. This is somebody's little passion here. This is uh, probably seeing a lot of parking lots at the football stadium, huh? Bunks. 
Then you can watch a game in here. Don't even need tickets. Pretty cool. But Philadelphia football, you'd have snow. <laughs> Woof. Fun, though. Anyway, made it to the museum. All right, let's go find the old stuff. See what we got over here. Well, pop up. Boy, these pop ups are nice anymore. Look at that fold out bed. Compact. Pretty comfy. Not like the old ones used to be. Talk about lightweight. You can pull that with nothing. Low card pull that. Don't forget the kayak up top. <laughs> All right, let's go check out the other side. All right, here we go. Supposed to be where the old ones are. Thor, they've been around forever. A lot of coach, you know, back in what was it, 2008, 9, and 10, a lot of these guys went belly up when the economy tanked. Look at that old airstream, huh? Goodness. That's pretty. There's clubs that you can join when you have the airstreams. I owned a, it was an airstream. Uh, Argosy, the white one, years ago, restored that thing. What a nightmare. Because everything's rounded in them. All the cabinets are rounded. It was really difficult to work on. 1958 Airstream. Look at this guy. The old colors of the old days. The old green and avocado colors. Another one in the 50s. Don't want to stand up in that one, huh? Got the old sinks. But these are a hot item. People love these things. They kind of took off a few years ago. They People want these older ones. Go out and do some glamping. They're the orange fender against a silver color siding. <laughs> Room for two. Just don't stand up and sit up in a hurry. <laughs> and this one, you know, you, some of these you still see quite a few of out, out and about, especially around quartzite. The old stove. These things are heavy to tow, too. They're built like a tank. Not much insulation in them. Nah. Old motor home. Kind of similar to one of my first ones I had. This one's a bounder. They made a million of them things. Oh, what have we got here? You got to sign your name. Well, check it out. RV or TV was here. Yay. <laughs> Fun. People from all over the country come here. Here you go. Now, I would love to have something like this. Wouldn't that be neat? I would absolutely love this. I'm sure it's collectible. 
Tennessee Traveler. Look at the old wood. My goodness. Wow. Old wooden seats. How fun. This is one where you drove it to the lake. <laughs> and back. Old steering wheel. Goodness. That is absolutely beautiful. Well done. All right, what else we got? Another pop-up. Look at this guy. There's the old pictures. Pretty cool. Got all your camping gear. But look at this one now. Just toot down the road. Pull outside the road, open it up. There's your bed. Better be pretty short. A little dark in here to film. Sorry about that. Doing the best I can. Very, very, very well done. I like seeing this stuff, these old ones. Well, let's keep wandering here. Another old trailer. Look how it's raised up in the back for a bunk. Back in the 60s. But a lot of these old timers still going. Old bent seat cushions, more uncomfortable than you can imagine. <laughs> Look at the big old furnace in there. Propane, everything. Well, maybe we'll, let's wander around. We'll find that library. I want to see that. Yeah, look at that green. Yuck. It's got a happy home here. Then, of course, the good old coachman class C. Oh, my goodness. They made a billion of them things. Oh, here you go. I found my rig right here. Call it the Eggshell Express. Look at that. Wow. Huh. Wouldn't that be fun to drive? Look at the wood, how they shaped it on the inside. Goodness. I bet there's none of these except in museums. Wouldn't that be fun to have something like that? like a big bumblebee. <laughs> but here's more my style. 1929 covered wagon. For first production travel trailer. Very good. Wonder if it had Wi-Fi. I still like that one. That's my favorite so far. Okay, what we got back in here? Another old motorhome. See those. Kind of cool color. I like that blue. Here's an original schoolie right here. They call it a house car. I'll be darned. Once again, look at the woodwork. Zero insulation in this thing. But man, those are pretty. There's another one. Huh. Pretty cool. Once again, we're at the RV Hall of Fame in Elkhart.
Indiana. Looking at some old RVs. This is also the manufacturing capital of the world for recreational vehicles. They got factories scattered hundreds of miles around here. Everywhere. Wow. I'd still like to have one. Wouldn't that be fun? This one's kind of newer. Still good shape though. Cool. Well, this one's so ugly it's cute. Yuck green. Short curtain. Oh, look at the green. E. <laughs> Stainless everything. Little bunk. There you go. I've seen these before. They're seen one on Sacramento Star Streak. Boy, I bet this thing drives like a tank. much in this one in its heyday this is top of the line now look at this thing holy moly there's a I guess you could call it a schoolie look at that thing huh wow how fun's that? And another older motorhome. Cool. Well, well done. I mean, it's not a huge place here, but they they got a lot of square footage and they got it covered pretty good. I'd rather look at these than that other side that go RV in. One of their left the keys in that for me. Okay, well, wander our way around here, ask that guy directions, go find that library somewhere. Kind of get lost in here, you wind yourself around. <laughs> 1939, Schultz Nomad, look at that. Cool. You know what I like the most about any of this stuff is the old pictures right here. That tells a true story. Look at all the Pioneers in the RV industry, the ones that started building them through the years. What's RV now? Billions, billions and billions of dollars industry. Okay, we gotta go upstairs. They got a huge gift shop here. Truthfully, the $10 donation to get in is worth it to keep this building going. I'm sure this is sponsored by a lot of the big manufacturers, but it's it's worth it. I was undecided to come here, but since I was coming out this direction, I just kept south a little bit. That's why we stayed in uh, Indiana. But tomorrow, we're heading straight up into Michigan. We're going to start our up going up the shorelines of Michigan, Lake Michigan. Yay! Oh, 
here's all their association presidents, all the high ups in the RV world. There is some big time bucks here. Here it is. Here's the library. See, if you needed a copy of a brochure, chances are you could find it here and take a picture of it with your cell phone. Pretty much anything in RV literature, you'd probably be able to find it here. Just shoot a picture with your phone if you could. I don't know. I'm guessing. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty big library. But, you know, in some of these old uh, restores that people do, they spend a ton of money having a literature, even if it's a copy with it. That adds value. You just got to come all the way here to Elkhart, Indiana to get it. <laughs> yeah, good excuse, too, anyway. Oh, cool. Oh, more old pictures. Look at that. See, RVing's been going for a long, long time. Clear back in the covered wagon days. Okay, what's you here? Ooh, look at this. Check it out. We we're just down there. There's that Go RV inside. It's supposed to have all the new stuff. And here's where we just walked through. There's all the old ones. There's the old silver coaches, the old house cars. Pretty cool. That's a real good view from up here. Check it out. Right, well, let's go ahead for the van. Glad I stopped. Pretty impressed. Uh, thought there'd be a lot more newer rigs here to look at, but I guess because of the COVID, they pulled them all out of here because they sold them. <laughs> and it is humid. Not bad. 80s and humid. Pretty decent. Here we go. I'm gonna go stay at an elk. We're gonna stay in an RV park here tonight. Need to go find it. They got huge parking lot here. No overnight camping. They got signs posted. But not too many people here today. But right here, we're right off Interstate 90 and 80. They're combined right now. That's a toll road, too. But right there's your Hall of Fame. You can see other manufacturing buildings. They are scattered everywhere. Look how flat, green, trees. <laughs> Part of a cloverleaf area intersection, huh? And actually the campground should be straight out that way, not very far, just past that water tower. They're just a couple miles from that campground. So let's head on over there. Yeah, once I get the van serviced, the van's gonna be serviced for oil. Also, got a Blue Eddy 200 solar system. I'm installing that battery into the van. And 
Also, I have a uh, new high boost cell phone booster we're going to mount. So we're going to take a couple days and do that. The videos are behind, so it shouldn't be too much of a delay in what you're seeing. Welcome to the Elkhart Campground. Used to be a KOA. Place is huge. What they charge me? Forty, about forty-one dollars to spend the night here. But it's close. Tomorrow I head over to uh, get the van service. It, so the van will be actually be in a shop for a couple days. I get to stay right there. Look how plush and green. Still not used to the green grass. It's warm, but not, I mean, the humidity is more than anything. I, I'm not used to that either. And since we got away from the Great Lakes, it's warmed up uh, too. But when we head out of here, we're going to be heading straight up into Michigan, go up the shoreline. Yay! You see a lot of RVs uh, being towed by uh, delivery people all over the roads here. This is also Amish country. A lot of Amish live around here. They must work in all the RV factories. Seen quite a few buggies driving across Indiana. We're right, I mean, we're only a couple miles from Michigan here. We're right on the border. This is home for the night. This one night. Van's doing good. Trip's going good so far. Happy. Wasn't Ohio a fun drive through? I think it turned out perfect. Especially that Marblehead State Park. Wow. That was probably. That one stood out the most. All that peninsula up in there, that port. Clinton Peninsula area that was just beautiful too. Okay from here we're gonna start trucking north. Journey continues. Talk soon!